Hello, I'm back with um, what I believe will be part three of this video where we are going to stitch in the pages to the cover of the journal. So, um, I did do a little bit more stitching um, in the previous video. We talked about stitching around this pocket and then I also, I stitched these two pages together and this will make a little tuck spot right here and then whatever is on the tag or card you'll be able to see through the leaves which I think is cute um, let's see so first thing you'll need to do is arrange your pages the way you want them as far as where they'll be located on the page um, when I have things with like pockets and a lot of tuck spots I like to make sure some of the smaller pages are up at the top it kind of keeps everything from bulking up at the bottom Sorry, I, I still have the sniffles. Looks like this pocket is near the bottom, so I moved that shorter page up to the top. It kind of helps balance things out in that one. I'm going to be in the middle. I like that up there. That one can be more in the middle. And I kind of like this one in the middle, like that. Okay. Um, the tools I'm using is going to be an awl or um, some sort of tool to punch a hole through all of the pages and the cover. Um, this, uh, th my dog chewed on the handle of this, so I just wrapped a twine around it and glued it, that on there. I have a large needle. This is a... What is, it's called a, I want to say tapestry needle, but I could be wrong on that. Some waxed um, thread, two large binder clips, and this is a um, this is a guide that I made. It is an old piece of file folder, which I folded in half. Well, I cut a piece off of it, obviously. <laughs> folded it in half, and then I measured out where I wanted my holes. You can see I've used this one a lot, um, but for Traveler's Notebooks, I keep I continue to use this because if the pages or if the holes aren't in the exact spot that I expect them to be, it doesn't matter because I'm not matching it up with another insert. I hope that makes sense. Okay, so I like to just take it like so, make sure everything is I should probably do that first. Make sure everything is flush at the top of the bot and the bottom with the cover. Then I press this in and I press it really tight and attach a binder clip like so. This page, I want to try to catch this page on either one side or the other just to make sure it doesn't fall or slide out or something. Okay. Like so, everything's securely put together. I don't have to worry about it slipping and sliding around. It is still flush, top and bottom. So I just press my awl all the way through my end screen to the outside. Just do that on all five holes. So, okay, and then I'm going to carefully remove this without messing up my pages. So I like to press it down, um, loosen the binder clip, and then just slide it out without moving any of the pages because we don't want our holes to be messed up once we've done that. Okay, find the needle. <laughs> Cut some thread. I usually do about two and a half. I don't always measure it, but I would rather too much than too little. Thread the needle. Then we're going to start by going in the middle hole. Or actually, I'm going out from the inside. It just depends on where you want your threads once we're done. 
and in, go down one hole. Don't be careful not to pull your thing all the way through. And then back to the next hole, down like so. And then we're gonna go back in this hole, one up from the bottom. Careful not to go through the th thread. That's not quite in the right place. Okay, as I was saying, careful not to go through the thread that's already there or you won't be able to tighten up your stitches. Um, so if that happens, just keep your th thread long and threaded <laughs> on your needle so that you can pull it out and fix it if you need to. Okay, now I'm going to skip the middle hole and I'm going to go up to the second hole from the bottom. So I can just barely see there. And I'm going to move this doily just so that it's right there. That way there's something holding it down. And then we're going to go in the one at the top. Sorry if I go off screen. I'm pulling it closer to myself. I'm not used to working on a camera. <laughs> okay, then we're going to go back down to that second from the top hole. I'm going to go back in. Again, careful not to go through the thread that's already there. What I like to do is sometimes pull it to the side it's hard to tell sometimes you don't know until you go to tighten your threads okay and then we're gonna go back into the center and we're gonna put it through on the opposite side this is on that side and this one's gonna be on the other side of the thread that's running down the middle. If I can get it through. <laughs> there we go. I just did something I told you not to do, which was unthread your needle. <laughs> that's okay. Okay, to tighten it, what I do is I take this section that's near the bottom here, and I'm going to pull it tight. So I'm tightening this middle section right here and then I'm going to pull it it's the same it's going in and around so we're going to pull it this way tight and back this way and then pull the middle so this is nice and tight on that end now and then we're going to do the same thing on the other side pulling, pulling this way and pull in from the top hole. And I'm going to grab this section here. Pull it tight. And if your threads were um, stitched or sewn through each other, you wouldn't be able to do that. That's what I mean by tightening your stitches. And then just two square knot or a square knot. Two square knots? I don't know. <laughs> two knots like so. And I like to leave a little space, a little thread hanging down like so. And there they are, just like that, all stitched in. And then you double check to make sure you didn't do it back upside down, <laughs> which I didn't. Well, then, nope. And there is our insert ready to be journaled in with already pretty pictures and papers and already quite thick, but that's okay. So that's that video. It's quite simple. That's how I do my inserts. Um, it's a very similar process when I do several signature books. So, yep, that's that. Thanks for watching, guys.